Hello guys, welcome or welcome back to Any Narrates. Today's story's title goes like this. Parents told me that they couldn't attend my wedding on the morning of the event, so I cut ties with them. Seven years later, they're back, because my mom's really sick. But then, I found out why they skipped my wedding, and now, I don't know if I'll ever be able to forgive them. I, 33 male, haven't been on speaking terms with my parents for seven years, but recently, they reached out to me and sent me an email telling me that my mother had been diagnosed with Alzheimer's, and they wanted to reconnect before things got bad. Alzheimer's is deadly, and I didn't want to let go of this one chance that the universe was giving me to make things right with my parents, so I agreed to meet them. And now, I don't know if I am ever going to meet again, because I learned a couple of things that really bothered me. For context, the reason my parents and I stopped speaking to each other was because seven years ago, I got married and they decided to skip my wedding. They didn't even bother to tell me that they wouldn't be attending and just sent me a text that they couldn't make it on the morning of my wedding, while I was getting dressed. It was a huge shock for me because they'd been a huge part of the planning and everything, and I was really looking forward to having them there, but they ended up skipping the ceremony altogether. I kept waiting for them to turn up at some point, but they didn't, and only showed up towards the very end, at a time when all the guests were leaving. When I asked them what made them skip the ceremony, I expected a really strong and genuine explanation, but they told me that it was none of my business and they couldn't share it because it was too personal. That was the last straw for me, and told them to leave, but they said that I was overreacting and people didn't even notice that they weren't attending, which was not true. People did take note of their absence and ask me about it, but I had no answers. However, that's not what I was upset about. I was upset because I cared about my parents being present on the happiest day of my life, and they just skipped it and never even bothered to give me an explanation for it. It made me feel like I wasn't worth answering, so I never spoke to them again after that. And after trying to talk to me for a couple of days, they stopped reaching out to me as well, and they told me that they would talk to me when I was ready to be a grown up about this. And then we ended up never talking again until recently when they sent me that email. The only reason I replied was because my mother was sick and I didn't want to pass up on an opportunity to meet her because I didn't want to have any regrets about this in the future. So my wife and I dropped off our daughter at a friend's place and went out for lunch with my parents two days ago. It was really warm and great to see them after so long and everything was going smoothly initially. We told them how our lives had been, about our work and stuff, and even showed them a few pictures of her daughter and then they told us how their lives had changed. After we were done catching up, I thought that it was finally time to address the elephant in the room. So I brought up our fight from all those years ago, since I figured that now enough time had passed and we could talk about it candidly. My wife was also pretty curious to know what had my parents skip our wedding that day because we'd speculated for a really long time and we couldn't come up with one single thing that was too personal to share and was important enough to skip our wedding for. And we really couldn't have imagined the real reason, because it was something straight out of a soap opera. When we asked my parents about it, they started looking a little uncomfortable, but my dad said that seven years had passed, and he figured that it was finally time to tell me the truth. My mother tried to warn him against it, but he pressed on and it really gave me a bad feeling, because I knew that they were going to share some huge secret with us, and I was not going to like it one bit. So apparently, I have a half-brother that I didn't know about, and his wife was pregnant, but she was facing some complications in her delivery, which is why it took so long for them to come back. They were stuck at the hospital for the entire day, and by the time they were able to make it back, it was too late. They couldn't tell me the truth either because they didn't think that I would take it well. My father had an affair in the first few years of his marriage with a friend of mom's, and then she got pregnant, but after giving birth, she realized that she didn't want to be a mother, so she left the baby with her mom and moved away. My dad had partial custody and continued to pay child support for my half-brother until he was of age. He also told my mother the truth about his affair and his other son around the time that she was pregnant with me. He also told my mother the truth about his affair 
and his other son around the time that she was pregnant with me. And after a lot of arguments and counseling, she decided that it was okay with her as long as I never got to know about his other child and he never spoke of his affair or my half-brother in our home. She stayed with him and they worked on the marriage and they never met that friend of theirs again. My half-brother was brought up by his grandma and my father would occasionally visit him on the weekends or whenever he had a day off and he didn't have to spend it with us. He would go over to see his other son. Once I was born, my mom said that she had become softer as a person now that she was a mother and she felt bad for my half-brother. So she decided that she was going to build a relationship with him, despite what she knew about him and who his mother was. Because she wanted him to have somebody to look up to as a maternal figure after his grandma passed on. It was very noble of my mom. I don't think most women would accept their husband's affair and also go on to treat their affair baby like their own. His biological mother had never been a part of his life and had cut everybody off after she moved away. So, my parents had a whole other kid that they were taking care of and I never got to know about it. My half-brother was a couple of years older than me and got married before me. My parents were present at the ceremony and even paid for some of it, which they didn't do for me. But again, I didn't get to know about any of it. They had their first child on the day of my wedding, which is why my parents were not able to attend. Apparently, the woman that my half-brother had married was already facing a lot of health issues while she was pregnant and she was taking a huge risk by going through with the pregnancy. So it was a pretty big deal for them and by the time that she had given birth and was given the all clear, they realized that it was too late to make it to the ceremony or even the after party. They said that they should have told me the truth that day itself, but they couldn't bring themselves to because they had a very intense day and weren't thinking straight. It would be a pretty emotional conversation and they just weren't ready for it. They told me that they didn't even know how to go about it after they'd lied to me for so many years. They couldn't just casually bring it up and it would have to be a real conversation, which is why they chose to cover up instead. After they told me the truth about why they hadn't been able to make it to my wedding, they said that they were really sorry about the way they chose to deal with things. A lot of time had passed since then, and in the years that I wasn't talking to them, they had thought about what they did to me, and they realized that it was extremely unfair, and they'd been terrible parents to me. My half-brother was still doing great, and he had known about me all along, but had been forbidden to talk to me. And he even agreed that what my parents did to me was not acceptable, and they needed to apologize to me big time. My parents had been thinking about it for a couple of months, but after my mother's diagnosis, they realize that they don't have a lot of time and then need to fix this with me as soon as they can. So that's why they had reached out to me and were in such a hurry to meet me. They knew that they would have to tell me the truth at some point and that's why they were coming clean to me finally because they owed it to me. They ended by apologizing to me once more and saying that no matter what decision I made now, they would accept it and wouldn't try to fight it. I didn't say anything immediately after they were done because it was just a lot to process and so, all of us sat in silence there for about 15 minutes. I was reeling from whatever I had just learned and I told them that I needed some time to think about this before I made any promises. And then my wife and I left the restaurant, picked up our daughter and went back home. My wife and I didn't discuss it until our daughter was asleep but when we did, she told me that whatever I felt and whatever I decided was all up to me. And there were no wrong decisions here. Her personal opinion was that my parents had really messed things up for themselves and this apology and confession were coming a little too late. They should have told me the truth way back instead of hiding things from me because that really served no purpose apart from making things worse and completely demolishing my trust in them. She herself was finding it very difficult to accept things that my parents had said and realized that it must be a thousand times harder for me. And she wasn't wrong about it. It actually was. So after a lot of thinking, I decided that I couldn't go back to having a normal relationship with my parents. And neither did I want to work on it. Not now at least because I was happy living my life on my own and I really didn't want to get into it right now. This was very emotionally heavy and complicated for me to deal with 
and I had other things to worry about right now. So I really didn't have time to sit and sort things out with my parents. That was literally the least of my priorities. I had gone seven years without talking to them. I could go another seven years easily. Especially after what they said to me about the real reason why they skipped my wedding. I could understand that it was important for them to visit and stand by my half-brother's side while his wife was struggling with the birth of their first kid. But I couldn't forgive them for what they did to me. I just couldn't bring myself to do it. My heart is not that forgiving. So yesterday, I decided to call them and tell them that I had thought about it and I had decided that it was for the best if we didn't speak anymore. I told them that I appreciated their attempt to contact me and let me know of my mother's diagnosis and I wished her the best. But after everything that happened and what they told me the other day, I couldn't look at them the same way and I definitely couldn't forgive them. They had lied to me for so many years and it was not an easy thing to forgive and forget, so I needed my time. Besides, I was an adult man now with my own family to think of and they were my priority. I couldn't put them first if I didn't put myself here first in this particular situation, which is why I had decided to cut them out of my life yet again. Because I couldn't accept the reality of the situation and I didn't want them around to serve as a reminder of all their lies and BS. They heard me out and thought that they were going to be fine with it because they'd said it themselves, that whatever conclusion I would come to they would accept it, no questions asked. But they started guilt tripping me almost immediately and said that I was really making a big deal out of it and I should just stop and think about things from their perspective before making a hasty decision like this. The thing is, I had thought about it, about what it would have been like for them and it was easier now that I had a child of my own, but I couldn't even imagine putting my daughter through something like this and lying to her for her entire life and then just suddenly coming clean to her after almost 7 years of not talking to her, telling her that she had half her brother somewhere because of an affair and that's why I had missed her wedding and stuff. It hurt my heart to even think of it but my parents had actually gone through with it and I couldn't imagine how they were just okay with everything and expected me to be the same way about it, even though I was kind of the victim in this situation. So I told them that I had thought about everything and in spite of that, my decision was not going to change. Then they played the Alzheimer's card and said that my mother was already going through so much. It was pretty heartless of me to choose to cut them out of my life even after knowing that my mother was sick. They said that I was being cruel and I needed to be a little more compassionate and think about their struggles as well. My dad told me that they had only lied to me to protect me and they had meant to confess when I turned 18. But their courage failed them and they weren't able to tell me the truth. So they waited for a couple of more years and the longer they waited, the more awkward it became for them to bring it up. But I didn't understand what that had to do with still not telling me the truth even after the incident on my wedding day. I think that was pretty much the perfect opportunity for them to come clean, regardless of the consequences. Because it was the right thing to do and I deserved an answer and an explanation for everything, but they didn't think that it was worth it, which is why they continued to lie to me and gaslight me into believing that I was overreacting and they were trying to do the same thing yet again now. My dad tried to tell me that my mother's condition was only going to get worse and I should make the most of the time that I had with her but I got really annoyed because I felt like they were not even listening to what I was saying. They just wanted to prove that they were right. So in the heat of the moment, I shouted at my dad and told him that I didn't care if my mother had Alzheimer's. I still wasn't going to forgive them and I didn't want to talk to them ever again so they could stop bothering me and arguing with me because it was not going to lead anywhere. After my meltdown, I hung up on them and decided to switch my phone off so I wouldn't have to deal with whatever came next. Then, finally, when I did check my texts, I realized that there was one from my father who said that he was not going to bother me again and neither was my mother going to expect me to reach out to them again. He told me that my mother had overheard me saying that I didn't care about her Alzheimer's and I was not going to forgive them. She had been crying unstoppably since I hung up and I felt really guilty when I was that because I really didn't mean it. Of course, I do care about my mother, but I just can't forgive her and move past all this like it never happened. I didn't reply to that message, but I've been feeling extremely guilty. 
I talked to my wife about it, and she said that she knew that I probably just said it in the heat of the moment. But it was pretty hurtful, and she could see why my mom was so upset. She didn't exactly say that I needed to apologize, but I do feel bad. And yet, I feel like the context that I said it in also matters. So I need to ask, am I the a-hole to say that I don't care if my mom's sick? I decided not to talk to my parents anymore. Yeah, even after what I said about not caring about her Alzheimer's. It is extremely sad that she's going through so much, and my heart goes out to her. But that doesn't mean that she gets a free pass for being a bad mom, and neither does my dad get off a scot free for being a terrible father. They're not kids. They knew what they were doing, and they knew that this was going to hurt me when I finally came to know the truth. But even then, they went ahead with it, and only came clean to me now because my mom is sick. I don't think they would have reached out to me had my mother not been diagnosed. And that's my biggest issue with this entire thing. That it took them so long to finally tell me the truth and give me an answer as to why they hadn't been there for me on the most important day of my life back then. And they didn't even bother to reach out to me later, to make things right, and for 7 years, their conscience didn't kick in. Not until my mother's diagnosis anyway. And it hurts to think that it took so much for them to realize their mistake and finally try to talk to me and build a relationship with me again. But like people say, it's now just too little and too late for things to be okay again. What's really funny is that I realized that they were there for both my half-brother's wedding and the birth of his first child. But they weren't there for me. They skipped my wedding, but at least they had a reason for that. And maybe someday I can bring myself to forgive them for it. But even after they got to know that my wife was pregnant, they didn't reach out to me even though they could have. And they could have been there for us, for a daughter's birth. They consciously chose not to be there because of their massive ego or whatever. And in spite of that, they expect me to forgive them. I haven't blocked them yet, but I will in a couple of days. They have been texting me on and off, even though they told me that they wouldn't be bothering me anymore. It's funny how things work, but I just have to deal with it, I guess. I finally got the courage to block my parents, or maybe I was just done with their BS, it's hard to tell. But I finally did it today, and I have never felt so relieved. They had been texting me for days now after I first posted here, and most of them were just updates about my mother's health, which I didn't even ask for. It just felt like a very skewed way of trying to manipulate me and make me feel guilty. It didn't work though, because after a point, I just muted them and went on with my day. Because what was I even supposed to say to anything that they were telling me? I had already made it very clear to them that I was not going to forgive them and I didn't want to keep in touch with them. But in spite of that, if they kept texting me and trying to make me feel guilty, then there was not much that I could do except just ignore them until I finally had the courage to cut them out of my life entirely. I was holding onto a little hope that they would finally say something or do something to change my mind, but they didn't. I don't think they're even capable of doing anything like that, because that would require them to think of me and not themselves, and we all know that they're not exactly great at that. I guess the last straw for me was when they texted me yesterday, and my dad told me that he was really disappointed in the way that I was behaving, because he didn't think that we were a family like that, where people just give up on each other, which was ridiculous, because that's exactly what they did after my wedding, and I refused to talk to them because I was mad. They didn't even try to apologize to me after that, just insisted that I was overreacting, even though I wasn't, and they were just trying to gaslight me. And when that didn't work, they decided that they were just not going to talk to me anymore, so in a way, they kinda gave up on me and cut me off for 7 years. I think they probably just forgot about that because it didn't suit their agenda to villainize me. In the text, they said that they expected better of me, and it was so condescending that I couldn't take it anymore. So I told them to leave me alone and then block them, which was so freeing. They don't have any other way to contact me, so I don't think I'm going to hear from them for some time. I'm sure they'll reach out to me again, but at least for a while, I don't have to deal with it. Hi guys, it's been a month since I last spoke to my parents, and things have been going pretty well for me and my family. We didn't hear from them again after I blocked them. 
and I didn't think that I would hear from them again after they didn't contact me for almost three weeks. But then they reached out to me yesterday once more and sent me an email to tell me that they were moving out of our old house and were going to live with my half-brother and his family now. My dad's getting old and can't take care of my mother all by himself. So they're going to move in with my half-brother and they gave me the address in case I wanted to talk to them. But I don't think I'll be needing it because I really can't imagine anything that I would want to say to them now. And I can't imagine meeting my half-brother and being okay with everything. It's just too weird. But yeah, that's it. I guess this is the end of the line for us. Alright guys, that was it for today's story. Thank you very much for listening. Go ahead and smash the like button for me. And subscribe for more stories. Thanks again and we'll be seeing you in the next one.